Samantha, I haven't been outside since two o'clock when I walked in the door. Oh, it was it was steamy then. It's <laughs> steamy now. It's a type of say, weather mat that you don't need lotion for. You know, you just go out and you're just moisturized because of all out. of the humidity. <laughs> right? It's like you just walk outside. You go into the sauna. You can um, outside. Yeah. You don't need to have one. And you know, at the gym. Absolutely, it is just <laughs> it is sticky. It's humid. Uh, definitely not the kind of day where you want to be outside for a long period yeah. of time. You want to stay inside in the air conditioning. Relief, though, it's coming. Good. Oh. That's some good news for us. We're going to have some showers come through. We don't we don't always like the rain. Now, we need the rain, but they're really what we're concerned with uh, is going to be that severe chance later today, and then we're going to be watching that relief come in in the form of some high pressure as we move into the second half of our work week. So we do have a light at the end of the tunnel of this heat, humidity, and now the storms that are working their way through. Start you out by taking a look at our neighborhood network here as we move through the noontime hour. This is a look from the Poconos. We've already had some showers and actually a few rumbles of thunder go through areas up into the Poconos. So again, starting to see some of this precipitation slowly work its way in. It hasn't started to rain here in Philly or much of the surrounding area just yet, but it is on its way and it will be packing a punch or it has the potential to pack a punch as we go through the afternoon and evening hours on this Tuesday. So the Storm Prediction Center out in Norma, Oklahoma, they have issued a slight risk of severe weather for the entirety of the area here as we go through the afternoon hours everywhere from the Poconos through the Philly Metro and even back down towards the shore points as well. So again, this is our slight risk everywhere shaded in that yellow. And today's risks, what we're really going to be overly concerned with is for the most part, it's the heavy rain and the dangerous cloud to ground lightning for the most part. We do actually have the potential for some very high rainfall rates. Precipitable water amounts are well up above two inches with this system. So again, it's going to be a really uh, kind of moisture rich area that comes on through. We have the lightning and then we do still have a risk for some strong winds that could be associated with some of the stronger thunderstorms. So a moderate chance for some gusty winds in some of the even stronger areas of precipitation later this afternoon. Storm scan three shows for the most part the rain is staying to the north for the time being. Thunderstorms pushing through the Mount Pocono area right where the uh, northeast extension and the 80 comes together. That's where we're seeing some precipitation right now. Some of the stronger thunderstorms. But as we zoom out, you can see the main bulk of this precip is still well off to our west. You see from uh, Williamsport back down towards State College and into the Laurel Highland southwestern Pennsylvania. That's where the main precipitation is. This is all really in front of our main cold front, though. The actual front is still draped off well to our west. You can see the clouds slowly breaking up back down towards uh, the Erie area, but then maybe a few light showers as well. That's the actual front. So where we're surely seeing the relief is even on the back side of that. So we have a while until this whole system does eventually clear on through by three o'clock. We're seeing thunderstorm activity push into the I-95 corridor. It really looks like by five that drive home is going to be a bit messy for a lot of folks here in the Philly area and across again the I-95 corridor or the immediate Philadelphia suburbs. Timing out most of the storms today. They're moving into Philly by again three, four o'clock. Heaviest rain falling five to seven o'clock this evening and then by midnight tonight we see most of this start to work its way out. Since we do have that risk for some heavy rainfall rates, a flash flood watch went into effect at 11 o'clock this morning, and it does last until midnight tonight. A quick recap for you again. That slight risk of severe weather with strong winds and heavy rain for us today. Rainfall amounts could be as high as two inches or maybe even a little bit more in a few spots, and then our thunderstorms will be ending as we move through the overnight hours. Check a look at our seven-day forecast here. 90 is still going to be the high temperature today. It's still going to be a warm, and it's going to be a very muggy afternoon. 80s for us here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This is the days where we really see the true relief. 87 tomorrow lots of sunshine. I think the best day of this week is actually going to end up being Thursday. We could see dew points all the way down into the 40s, reminiscent more of what we see in September and October. Oh. And then it does get maybe slightly more humid on Friday, guys, but still not too bad. And then unfortunately for the weekend, there is another chance for a shower or two there. But I still think Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it's nice when we can even have a couple days like that after this hot and humid and, yeah. and messy weather. Joe. Mm -hmm. So moving in the right direction. Definitely.